quite something to see ex-Arsenal and England international Ian Wright on the subs bench at Priestfield. But the Gillingham stalwarts were far from impressed. Andy Hessenthaler's corner eventually put in the net by Guy Butters on just four minutes. And they thought they'd made it 2-0 when Ify Anuru fired home a header, but it was disallowed for pushing. And it got worse on the half hour when an unfortunate deflection set up Andy Payton for the Burnley equaliser. Vince Bartram given no chance. But that man, Carla Saba, playing his first full game at Priestfield since last May, came to the rescue in style. A fine solo effort putting the Jills 2-1 up with 20 minutes to go. But Burnley had seen enough and sounded the alarm to bring out their trump card, Ian Wright. And it worked when Gillingham gave him all the space and time in the world to make it two all four minutes from time. Wrighty's first goal for Burnley in his sixth game at the club. Knowing Ian, he'd have had a bit of movement in there and that's why he's been such a good player all of his career. Uh, and it hurts a little bit because I felt as though we were going to take all three points. Um, and the, and the I can't call him it, but he came on the and sub and scored a goal. But uh, overall, uh, that's about the only disappointing thing of the evening. So Gilliam have to be content with the one point and stay unchanged in sixth place, just below Burnley. But they do have at least two games in hand, with four still to play this month. And a quick look at the table. Gillingham now 12 points off the automatic promotion slot, but they do have games in hand over all the clubs who are above them.